Hello and welcome to another booktube video from me Lauren from Lauren and the Books. I hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful Sunday. Today's the 2nd of May. Oh, I mean, I'm filming this on the 1st of May, so today is the 2nd of May. Um, and it's the second day of a month I have therefore dubbed God, I can't wait to have my hair cut this week. Look at the state of it. Um, Little Women. So throughout the month of May, I will be reading Little Women and retellings of Little Women. Now, this is the third year in a row I've done something like this. The first year I did June Eyre, where I read Jane Eyre and books adaptions, retellings, books inspired by Jane Eyre. Then last year I did Pride and Prejune Dis, both, both in the month of June. This year we've brought it to May and we're calling it Little Wim May. So I'm going to be reading firstly Little Women, which is here. And I have started this today. This is my Penguin Cloth Bound Classic Edition of Little Women. Um, I'm just about to get to the end of the third chapter. Uh, Joe and Meg have been to the ball, Meg's twisted her ankle, and Laurie, the, the lovely Lawrence boy, has just offered them the use of his carriage for the way home. So it's it's all going to plan, it's all going to plan. Um, so yeah, I've been very much enjoying this. I only read this today, and I've been pretty busy today, actually. I've been out for a walk uh, to pop by my mum and dad's house so that David could help out with the, um, the fence panels. And now we're home, and I'm going to sit down and settle down to another two chapters I think because I'd like to read about five chapters of this a day um, which will mean that I'll be done within 10 days because I want to get this done first before I move on to any of the retellings and what retellings do you have Lauren I hear you um scream so the first one I'll start with is the one that I'm reading for my Patreon book club and that's more to the story by Henna Khan um this is a retelling where Jo is reimagined as Jamila um, and she wants to be an award-winning journalist just like her late father and is thrilled to be selected as features editor of a of a school newspaper a huge honor for a seventh grader so yeah that sounds it sounds very cute it's a middle grade book um and yeah I'm looking forward to to reading it as from a by a Pakistani American author so interesting um we'll go through the ones that i've bought first and then we'll move on to the two that i've got out from the library and i've also got one on my um e-reader that i'm going to read too but anyway next one is uh, meg and joe uh, by virginia cantra uh, and this is a contemporary retelling of uh, little women and this is although the it's just meg and joe mentioned in the title um it does talk about all, th all four of the march sisters reliable meg independent joe stylish amy and shy beth um, and uh, they've grown up to pursue their separate dreams. When Jo followed her ambitions to New York City, she never thought her career in journalism would come crashing down, leaving her struggling to stay afloat in a gig economy as a prep cook and a secret food blogger. So food fiction as well. Excited about that. Um, and yeah, so looking forward to a contemporary um, view of Little Women. So that's that. Then I've got two graphic novels. I've got Meg, Jo, Beth and Amy, a graphic novel, and this is by Ray Tessario and Brie Indigo. Um, and this looks really fun and bright and um, pleased to see that there is some diversity here. Um, they are having a really tough year. Not only is their father overseas with the military and their mother working overtime to make ends meet, but each girl is struggling with her own unique problems. Whether it's school woes, health issues, boy troubles, or simply feeling lost, the March sisters all need the same thing, support from each other. So yeah. That looks really, really fun, I think. And I'm looking forward to, to reading that a lot. And then the next one I've got is Little Witches, um, Magic in Concord by Lee Dragoon. So this is Little Women um, in a graphic novel um, reimagined as witches. So yeah, I'm, um, I'm excited about that as well. This one looks as though there's not much sort of speech in it. It's a lot of, um, even the, the, the pages which do have speech bubbles in, there's not much going on. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited and intrigued to see the, the retelling of this. Then I've got one that I bought, oh, two that I bought second hand. Um, the first one is Good Wives um, by Louisa May Alcott. So I believe, and I can't be sure, and this is definitely something I should have bloody looked into, I think, because there are four books in the Little Women sort of series, Little Women, Little Men, Joe's Boys and Good Wives. So I don't know where this sits in the, in the four books. This is a, a second hand book and I've just found a hair in it. So that's nice, isn't it? Um, but yeah, it says, uh, well, it says here, ta uh, turn to page 21 to read about Meg's happy wedding day. So that obviously doesn't happen in Little Women, even though in the film of Little Women, which is one of my favourite films ever, the Greta Gerwig one, you see Meg's wedding day. So 
I wonder how this fits in, but yeah, so I've got that as well. I bought that second hand. And then also I bought second hand online, The Little Women Letters um, by Gabrielle Donnelly. Actually, when I got this, it said it wasn't in very good condition, but this is in very good nick. Um, so it says here, the great great granddaughters of Josephine March finds a batch of letters. The words of the little women shed a glorious light on a new generation of sisters. So this sounds interesting because it is inspired, not only is it sort of inspired by little women, it's from the same world as little women because it involves the very same characters. So whereas these are sort of like retellings, this is, I mean, it's still a retelling, but it's got new characters in, in the, in the view of like, it's not Joe reimagined as Joe in New York City now. This is Joe's great, great, granddaughter um so yeah so that sounds exciting yeah i had i had to work quite hard to get a second hand copy of that because it's not in print anymore so there we go um and then i've got this one i had to work even harder to get because i couldn't get a, a hold of this at all and i ended up getting it from a independent bookshop in scotland um so this is this wide night by sarvat hassin um and this is actually published by penguin books india and it says on the back for sale in the Indian subcontinent only. So I did well to get hold of this. Um, and this is about the, the Maliks. They live a life of relative freedom in 1970s Karachi. Four beautiful sisters, Maria, Aisha, Layla and Bina, are warily watched over by an unconventional mother. Captain Malik is usually away. And so the women forge the rules of their own universe, taking in a few men. Amir, the professor who falls in love with Maria, and Jamal or Jimmy, the, the neighbour who narrates this tale. Oh, that's interesting. So it's told from... A, but potentially Laurie's point of view, or maybe Mr. Lawrence, we'll see. The curious young man, it must be Laurie, uh, the curious young man is drawn in by all four sisters, particularly rebellious Aisha, but slowly it becomes clear he will never completely penetrate their circle, just as they will never completely move with the tide that swirls so potently around them. So yeah, it says here, in the quietly seething world of this wide night, little women meets the virgin suicides in Pakistan, moving com from Karachi to London and finally to the rain-drenched island of Menorah. Here is a compelling new novel from the subcontinent and a powerful debut to watch. So there we go. Interested to be getting my hands on that. And then, I've, as I said, I've got two from the library. I've got March by Geraldine Book Brooks, and this is um, from this is like Little Women, but sorry, it's a library copy, so it's shiny. Um, from the point of view of um, Mr. March, the the girl's father, who in 1861, it's the first year of the American Civil War, um, and he leaves his wife and daughters, as we know from the book, uh, to fight for the Northern forces. Although, in the book, in the original, which, and I only just, because I thought I'd read this before, I don't think I've ever finished it, and the uh, the version I read when I was younger, I read the abridged version, because in the abridged version, <laughs> Beth doesn't die, so I always knew that Beth died, um, but yeah, in the abridged version, Beth doesn't die, but in this, I'm sure I've read that he's a pastor, like a religious figure, and he's not fighting, but maybe, maybe not, but yeah, so this is... Um, yeah, this talks about the, the absent father in Little Women. So an interesting perspective. And then I've also got Becoming Joe by Sophie McKenzie, which is a modern retelling of Little Women. This is a uh, middle grade book. And it just says, Meg, Joe, Beth and Amy, four sisters whose stories are forever imprinted in our hearts. But what if their story was told now? So this is them now. And I imagine in the UK, maybe. We'll have to have a look. But yeah looking forward to that as well and then the last one i'm going to read i'm going to read uh spring girls by anna todd um which is a retelling and i believe there's some sort of like when i was looking at the reviews of this people were saying oh it's a great sort of military retelling of little women so i'm interested to see how that works out so yeah some reading to be getting on with. I'm also going to listen to the um, the audio, the Radio 4 audio play um, that was on, and that's available on Audible. I was going to listen to um, uh, the book, but I've, I've been like, I was quite looking forward to reading it, to be honest. So yeah, it might you might find that I eventually although i don't know we'll see i'm going to listen to the radio play but i'm also going to read this and then maybe towards the end if i think oh i wouldn't mind listening to the audiobook of this as well um maybe intersperse it but it seems mad to sort of listen to this and listen to the audiobook as well like as in two because it only counts as one book um so yeah so i'm hoping to get this done in the first 10 days and then i can move on to the retellings um i'm also going to be watching um the my, my favorite film the 2019 i think it was um 
Little Women with uh, Saoirse Ronan and uh, uh, Florence Pugh and Emma Laura Watson Dan. and Laura Dern. Um, lots a wonderful cast. Um, but I also wouldn't mind watching um, the one that's got... David, what's the name of that actress who's a little bit... She's a little bit zany and she's in um, oh. Stranger Things. Um, what's her oh name? God. All I can think of is Mini Driver, that's right. It's not Mini Driver. No. I think Mini Driver might be... Anyway, it's a... It's a what is her name? Oh, come on. Look it up. Look it up. I'm also going to watch that one um, of that. And then I think there might be a TV series or a TV adaptation. I'm going to see what I can get ha get my hands on in terms of the streaming services that I am member of. Um, and yeah, we'll be watching a few a few things like that. But yeah, I'm um, I'm so excited. And I, I'm going to dress Winona up. Winona Ryder. Winona Ryder. Thank, Thank you. Thank God for that. I suppose Winona and Minnie are similar. Minnie. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be dressing Ryan slightly. Driver. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to be dressing um, like the like the sisters and mommy, and I might even if I can get my hands on a, a waistcoat, I might even uh, have a little go of dressing as Laurie. That'll be exciting. But yeah, today I've got my little women T-shirt on from Joni, which is lovely. So yeah, so I'm now going to go and read Little Women. Let me know if you have read any of these adaptations. Let me know if you've read Little Women. Let me know if you're planning on reading any Little Women this month or Little Women retellings. And I'll see you all again soon for another Rick video. Goodbye.